I didn't know they came here regularly, but she's gonna kill me when she sees herself on the vlog. <laughs> That's today's little mini life update. And over the bar for Claire! Good afternoon, everybody! Welcome back to Kilkenny City. Back again. <laughs> so we just got dropped into the city centre and we're going to do a spot of shopping. Mum is off to Bournemouth next week, so she needs to get some nice new clothes. Isn't that right, Angie? That's correct. <laughs> and London the following week. And London know. the following week. She's such a jet setter. We're hoping that we can find some actually decent clothes today. When we were shopping in Dublin about two weeks ago, we literally walked out of every single shop because there was nothing nice in there. And I usually do all my shopping online, so it's rare that we do come into the towns. And this is why. Hopefully today won't be a complete and utter waste of time for you, Angela. The pizzeria in Kilkenny City called Uncle Sam's. And Mam used to take me there as a child for like a birthday party or, or a special occasion because the pizzas are literally dripping in cheese. Be the cheese lovers we are, we absolutely love it. Trying our hardest to walk past and not go in. And Danny doesn't like it, so instantly he was shunned by my entire family. Everywhere I go it's just like food orientated or has a food memory. Favourite thing about summer in Kilkenny has got to be everybody dining outside in all the cafes and all the little back streets. I think it's adorable and it's one thing that I'm so looking forward to doing when I go on my holidays and eating al fresco. See ma'am? I know posh words. Yeah. Al fresco. Didn't learn them from me. <laughs> my cousin Nikki, who you've seen in the vlog before, has actually gone to Bali, so she's going to be doing plenty of al fresco dining, but I was laughing my head off at her this morning. I opened a Snapchat from her, guess what she was doing? Only Nicole Root would go to Bali and have a donut for her breakfast. I love that mom is the same size as me because basically she did a load of shopping but I got some new clothes. They're mine. <laughs> they're not yours. No, <laughs> they're ours. <laughs> mom, do you want to go for afternoon tea again? No thanks, I'm too full. <laughs> you all know that I would eat cakes, biscuits, sweets any hour of the day for any meal. Just popped over to Butler House which is where we took you on our last Kilkenny vlog and we said we wanted to come here for some tea and scones and just have a nice little sit down absolutely beautiful gardens it's just turned four o'clock we came out to sit down and grab a menu and they've told us that the kitchens are closed so I'm extremely disappointed and extremely hungry we're gonna have to regroup ourselves come up with a plan B and figure out where we're gonna go to get some food I honestly didn't think that anywhere would close on a Friday at 4 p.m. unusual so we'll gather our stuff and mosey on our merry way on the bright side we we'll get to walk through the lovely gardens again so whenever I'm in Kilkenny with my cousins on those rare occasions we actually have time to get together. For some reason we always end up in Kittler's Inn and the food is gorgeous and I'm quite in the mood for a polymont. What do you fancy Ange? Nice chips? Probably yeah. Yeah. So we walked into Kittler's and who did we spot? <gasps> That's my cousin Claudia and Lauren. Hi guys. I didn't know they came here regularly but she's gonna kill me when she sees herself on the vlog. <laughs> I've got some gorgeous salmon fish cakes and Mammy is really healthy with her vegetarian quiche. Looks lovely, ma'am. And the big plate of chips. <laughs> and mayonnaise. <laughs> so we're gonna make our way out to Kells now and I will leave the vlog here for today. Obviously we're gonna be spending time with family this evening, so it's time to put the camera away. But I will talk to you in the morning. I thought some of my American friends would be highly amused to see this. <laughs> Welcome to Ireland, everybody, where cattle crossing the road is a normal everyday occurrence. <laughs> just so happen to be my uncle's cows. This is so weird. I love when we come to Kilkenny because we just meet people in the most random places. <laughs> Hi uncle! <laughs> Morning everybody. I've become overly obsessed with watching my vegetables. I'm literally up here again. <laughs> Anybody who has a vegetable plot I think will understand that you want to like sit here and talk to your plants. <laughs> so yesterday when we met up with everybody after the mass I got some great tips on keeping slugs away from the plants. So I'm going to actually go in and make up a little concoction of garlic to spray on them. Thank you to my uncle Val for that information. And also my uncle Patsy told me that my lettuces aren't growing because they love more of a clay environment and so the peat kind of compost that I have they just don't like so I'm gonna go and change that up and hopefully we'll have some lettuces in a couple of weeks but other than that I am so delighted to be able to go horse riding today I'm all geared up with my minion socks at the ready I'm so happy because I haven't been since I came home it's been about six weeks now and I haven't even gone once which has been devastating because I was either too busy and then the hand situation happened but the hand is good we've been in contact with the hospital to make a new appointment to get it reviewed and looked at to see what the story is with it because I still have quite a bit of pain but you know what life's too short I'm going to ride the horses today. <laughs> I love mince and garlic. That's potent. 
brilliant. Rosie, come sit up beside me. Would you like to sit beside me? Oh, hi. Mwah. Kisses. Sit down now, it's too hot. All right, so I'm just sitting outside with a cuppa. And yesterday on Instagram, I used the ask me a question feature. And the questions that you lot were asking were literally unbelievable. And I never thought of addressing them on the vlog. So I had a question asking me what my plans were when I come home from my trip. So myself and Danny are heading on our interrail on the 6th or 7th of August. I need to check because that's coming up really soon. We're going away for what it looks like about three and a half weeks now. We haven't booked our flight home from Paris yet. At the moment, we're all booked up as far as Rome. So our next stop from there is Nice, Paris and to come home. So when we come home it will be in and around the 1st of September and we plan on moving back to Dublin because I still have to do exams that will allow me to practice as a solicitor. So in Ireland the process works that you get your undergrad, you can go ahead and do a master's if you choose to and then you need to do a set of exams called the FE1s which allows you to start practicing as a trainee solicitor with a firm. So I have my job lined up with a firm but I have not done my FE1s yet. So <laughs> Good times. More study for Sinead that you'll have to listen to me talking about for the next like two years. The plan is that I will get a job that will allow me to work and live up there while I study for those exams before I start my official, official legal career. So that was the main question that I really wanted to answer in this video because I actually haven't spoken about it at all since I left London and came back home about six weeks ago now. I've been working on my dissertation which is due in August. But that's today's little mini life update. <laughs> We're on our way into horse riding, back to Kenny again for the day. Danny has actually gone to a match in Cork, he's gone to watch Wexford and Clare in the hurling today and we have it on the radio here and we're just listening away to it and it's absolutely incredible how little I care about the ga in this country. I can't be the only one who has no interest in GAA whatsoever. When the conversation starts, like it started in the kitchen last night with all the lads in our family, I was just like, la dee 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 dee, today's brain went somewhere else. <laughs> Are you the same? Same, yeah. yeah, and you grew up in that house. It is. <laughs> That's funny. Just didn't, didn't have any interest. No, in. I'm more interested in Wimbledon now. However, yeah, I did play Camogie for London in my younger years. Mama played for the London Irish. They used to wear skorts on the pitch. <laughs> Danny, enjoy your six-hour trip back from Cork tonight at midnight. <laughs> All for a gal match. Connor McDonald, the chase is on. Rory goes low and over the bar for Clare. Thanks to Ange Diz for all her vlogging work while I was on the horse going around the arena. This though, I need to sort out. It's such a nice feeling when you get out of the shower and you feel super clean for all of about five minutes until you're sweating in the sun. I just made up a gorgeous quinoa salad and this is the first time I've actually made something like this myself and I'm so excited to try it. But I will leave today's video there everybody and leave my hair to dry out in this beautiful evening sun. I hope you have a fantastic week. If you liked this video, please don't forget to give it a big thumbs up and hit subscribe if you haven't already. And I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.